Oh, shit. Ah, oh, please don't do that. Uh-oh. Do not like that. Not like that at all. So it begins. Yep, seems that way. Oh, there's nowhere to save. That sucks. Yeah, all my saves are gone. Oh, there's one. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it, then. Ready. song. I really do. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Hume, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Toriel? What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I cannot stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the human, and then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Yeah, Asgore, human! Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore. Is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> hey, nobody hurt each other. Uh, uh, oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel. Hello. Uh, 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 hi. There's two of them? Hey! Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello? Oh, hello, Your Majesty. Psst, hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Yes, what's up? <laughs> that voice. Hello, 
I think we may know each other. Right. I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. Name Sans. And uh, same. Oh, wait, then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie. I can't believe Asper's cloned so <laughs> Oh my god, he's such a fucking idiot. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm. Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. Ugh. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore. I mean, it's totally right about that fish thing. S sometimes you just gotta uh, s stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No. He's right. Let's do it! Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back? Oh god, the <laughs> bad pixel animations. Oh, wait! Not in front of the human. Uh, right, sorry. I get a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you've made, I think... I think you'll be happy here. Uh, hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides it, her... Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me. Oh god. A tiny flower? <gasps> uh oh. You idiots. Your hype is real. While you guys are having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the human soul humans together, I will achieve my real form. Mm -hmm. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play anymore with me anymore. And what would I, <laughs> what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over. And over, and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give your, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. <laughs> oh shit! Even if it means killing you. With a million times. <laughs> Ding. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't this guy yet? Come on. This word is good enough on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. 
but somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. <laughs> All the other voices, oh no, ribbit. Hey, it's Muffet. How come she's not a part of this? Why can't I make friends with Muffet? Ah, uh, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You... You... I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. How come Muffet's not a part of it? Why can't I be friends with her? The flower is like Edmund, except a little bit here, apparently. Oh, shit. Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azrael Dreamer. Oh shit. It's the end. Azrael Dreamer. Infinity attack, infinity defense. Legendary being made of every soul in the underground. Oh, can't believe that hit me. It's the end. Hold on to your hopes. You'll reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Jesus Christ, goat son! What the hell is this bullshit? Azrael charges shocker breaker. <gasps> oh shit, I didn't mean to attack. Oh well, I missed anyway. No, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Oh, shit! But it refused. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. So what's the name of this one? Is this Megalovania? Because I've made a point to not roll. To not listen to that one yet. Okay, let's try to take no damage this time. Alright, took three damage. Calls on Chaos Saber? Kept holding on. Damage reduced! After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Ow. That's just a shocker breaker. Kept holding on. Damage reduced! This is hopes and dreams. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. As you're ready, is the star blazing. Your items fill up with dreams. Then we can do everything all over again. Ow, that hit. No! Shit. Megalovania is the genocide music. Gotcha. This is the end. I just know that there's a couple of songs that I've got on the soundtrack that I've made a point of skipping because I know I haven't gotten to them yet. Like the one that says the title is This Might Play When You Fight Sands. I've made a point to not listen to that song. Shocker 
Breaker. Oh shit. Okay, it's holding on. Damn it, reduced. Oh, I get hit once. It sucks. I can feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. Holding on. Damn it, reduced. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Whoa! And then you'll lose to me again. Holding on. Damn, introduced! And again. Good god, that thing. And again. Good lord! What the hell? Galacta blazing? Oh shit. He just said if he resets everything, you just do this forever. Then what's the point of restarting it? Does he want a happy ending? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, Slicer. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. Because you love your friends? I'll do it. Because <laughs> never give up? Jesus Christ! Isn't that delicious? Your determination. The power that let you get this far? It's gonna be your downfall. What is that hyper goner? Oh god. Enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. And after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Hey, Robo. Let's see what you, your good your determination is against this. Oh shit! Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power. Nope! Insta-killed. Gotta have wings, right? Yes! You feel it. Every time you die, your group on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. The whole world is ending. 
Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. <laughs> I can't choose anything else. I know I can't move my body. <laughs> Still? Come on, show me what good your determination is now. Damn it! Fine. There's your determination, motherfucker. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. What? You reached out to Azrael's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? In the depths of Azrael's soul. Something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. You tell the lost soul you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. Oh, ow. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. No one will leave me again. This is my duty. Lost souls stand there. You refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. I know that the act you can't move from it. That was the joke. Well, lost soul stand there. So the lost soul you put for butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Suddenly, her memories are flooding back. Seeing her remember you, the male lost soul tried hard to remember you too. Your fate is up now. <laughs> Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. There's something faintly resonating with him. Within the depths of Azria's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appear. You ask the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. I must capture a human! Just give up. I did. Oh, come on. I didn't touch the controller on that one. Nah, that was me failing it. The lost soul stands there. You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. Then everyone will... Why even try? Lost Soul stands there. Told the Lost Soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other Lost Soul seems to like it. You'll never see him again. The Lost Soul stands there. You tell the Lost Soul you think that crosswords are tougher than Jumble. It nods its head. Like it knew this without question. No, wait! You're my friend! I can never capture you! No, nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. I feel something resonating within him. In the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul up here. Fake hit. Tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die! You like my sans voice? It's kind of dopey. <laughs> you asked the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're a real enemy. The 
the Lost Soul stands there. You clashed against the Lost Soul with all your might. She recognized your fighting spirit. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Stop petting your enemy! The Lost Soul appeared. Nerd out! You ask the Lost Soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? Ow. No! I had that. You tell the Lost Soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. I've gotta keep lying. Lost Soul stands there. You call the Lost Soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. Suddenly the memories are flooding back! No! It's not true! My friends like me, and I like you too. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger. And stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh. What are you doing? friend's soul resonating within Azrael. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Keep fighting to keep you around. I'm doing this because you're special. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one that was any fun to play with anymore. Oh no, I don't hate her. Just, ugh. I don't like that she's a manipulative bitch. Not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. Please, stop doing this, and just let me win. Stop it. Stop it now.
I always was a crybaby, wasn't I? I know. You're not actually you, are you? It's been gone for a long time. Well, what? What is your name? Frisk. That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I don't only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much, and they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sands, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Yeah, wait, shut up, Insane Ninja. <laughs> First, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends. Family. Bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Why wouldn't I forgive you? What? Friss, come on. You're... You're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters finally go free. destroyed. Solus. <laughs> Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Friss, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay?
Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you are awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. Felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah. You make your papyrus cry like a baby. <laughs> what? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears. Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. How about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. No, from what? I'm not certain. Frisk. We do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower and, and everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. Seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Hello, Frisk. Alpha's upgraded my phone. I've been having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. We're two or two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. <laughs> Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. And why are you smiling? You can go anywhere and talk to anyone, so it's suggested you do so. It's a pity smile. I'm guessing, uh... Yeah, the weird pixels. Uh, I'm guessing I should go talk to Naps the Blue then, huh? Hi. What's up, Chris? We were just talking about you. Apparently you asked to call Tori mom right after meeting her. Well, it was not right after. It took a couple of minutes. Chris, I gotta tell you, that's uh, not the best way to get to know someone. It's not! Papyrus, we've been over this. Whatever, mom. Don't talk back to me like that. Go to your room, Papyrus. <laughs> okay, Undyne. Wait, don't actually go to your room. I'm getting mixed messages here. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? What was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, well, of course I'm gonna go out and... Um, no, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. And that's the spirit! Everyone, a celebration to being losers! <laughs> Papyrus is the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um... What's an... Anime? Oh my god. Frisk, please... Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You, you see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords. So it's like a cartoon. 
but with swords. Oh, like, that sounds neato. <laughs> oh my god, he's a huge dork. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the... That's the wrong... Uh, never mind. Golly. Were those two robots... Kissing? Boy. <laughs> Technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. Psst, frisk. Um, you gotta tell me. Do, do you think Asgore and Toriel are uh, ever gonna get back together? Let's hope so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hope, too. Just think about how cute they must have been together. To quickly become my number one ship of all time. Oh god. Tori and Gory. My. My old boss and his ex wife. But sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore. <laughs> That's not what I meant! Second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Because I'm going to post it online. Frisk, I just realized. Now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Oh, well. Actually, the cup I had is cold now. So you shouldn't have it. But I am so happy you said yes. And as soon as I can, I will make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. Hey, Alphys! Alphys! Do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? Uh, I'll see if I can manage to find anything like that, Undyne. Yay! Wow, they're all nerds. Hi, Toshko! <sighs> it really seems like... It seems like you really botched your quests, Frisk, but I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you weren't working! I know. I signal my concentration. <laughs> Frisk, do you not feel left out? I did not tell her the truth about anime. I told her it was real. I hope there's an anime with fighting princesses. I want to fucking watch that shit. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? Notice you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alphys are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. Now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room, you will receive another. Because she's got little horns. I'm sure I'm excited to finally use, my hum use the human internet. They have all sorts of things Undyne and I can watch. Oh man. We're gonna be able to watch anime online? Of course, Undyne. What do you think we've been fighting for all along? Yeah. What are you... Whoops. Jinx. Maybe we're gonna make that joke. Wait, Elvis. I didn't know you knew Sans. Well, I... Wasn't everybody? Who the hell is Sans? What the heck is Sans? Toriel? <laughs> I like it. Sorry. I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. Ah. 
How about you go look around before we all go? Seeing how many good friends you've made here, I am almost certain you must have made some more. Frisk, why don't you take a walk around? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah! Frisk, why don't you fly? Hmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. They can't fly. Not with that attitude. Oh, Frisk. If you're not busy, on nice days, you should walk around and have a good time. That's important. Hey, Frisk, why don't you go look into the look for Metaton? He was here for a while, too, but he said he had to go somewhere. Hey, Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Naps the Book? Oh, tell him that I said hi, too. Take a hike. Hiking is good for your bones. Sorry, I don't have time to talk. Okay. Make sure I get all the dialogue options. How about you go look around before we all go see you? Okay. Now Luke is still best character. Yeah, Nasta looks pretty good. something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Oh, if you're- okay, gotcha. So if you say no to Alpha, she says, that's right, you're right, that's what fanfiction- writing fanfiction online is for. <laughs> Who writes fanfiction anymore? Seriously. So do I actually have to talk to every single character? Does every character have a unique dialogue thing? Is that what, that's what I'm asking? Like, do I have to talk to Heat's Flamesman? Just a fan fiction. Quick a distraction. Speaking of. They made Pride and Prejudice and Zombies a movie. That's interesting. Oh my god! Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests this time. Or ever again. Um, are you guys on your way out? I guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news! The elevator started working again. Now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. You could at least talk to, to the Cinder plane. It's not like she likes you or anything. As a slime, I don't know. Little buddy, there's a brand new world that they're waiting for us. I'm sure with my uh -huh, qualifications, won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or. Maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's just as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally, in this case. I'll tell anyone this, little buddy, because they'll make fun of me. But I feel like I played a hand in getting everyone free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job. Like I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. So we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much. Then he told me 
Don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, my boss. I love that guy. And by the way, and by that I mean I hate him so, so much. Those girls, the ones that saw my pants fall down? Well, we're all gonna be free, so I'll never have to see them again, at least. Anytime. Service never came. Sigh. Lock it inside. No response. Trying to finish up work. <laughs> Sorry, the resort's shutting down, but I think you'll find it still great to pass through. Blub blub. Now we can live life without reservations. I feel like that's a terrible pun. So, if we're really- if we're leaving, will my job- Ugh, I just got a raise. Well, I guess every apple has its core. <laughs> Surface world. Really? Maybe I'll be able to get two feet without running into a puzzle. Some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. Free? Well, I guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. These motherfuckers all better have one dialogue option, because I'm not spending 12 hours doing every single one of these. of a lot of things. So, we're like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like, pretty chill, I guess. Oh. Oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking? You know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. Who the hell are you and where were you before? Mm. Oh, right, Metaton, yeah. You are absolutely correct. Yeah, I just, I'm not going to go... Where the hell's Metaton, then? He was in the lab ten minutes ago. Jesus, calm down. <laughs> 